Everybody, Heather here. Today I thought I would show you the dotty background that I put on the outside of this image because I'm assuming you're going to have a question about how to do it when this kit comes into the store. So we're going to do that today. And when I do my dotty backgrounds, I try to pick some colors from the image that are already on here, like the flowers. There's some red flowers, and he's got blue pants. So I picked B triple zero and R triple zero to add to the color to the outside of the image here. So let's get started and I've already stamped and colored my image right here and I usually start with the grays first and so I start with the darkest gray I'm going to use which is going to be C1. So today I'm going to use C1, C00, B000, and R000. But I'm going to start with C1 and I'm I'm random when I do my little dots. I don't have any specific pattern that I'm going to do, but I try to keep my darker dots closer to my image and I just quickly go along and go. And the harder you press down, the more of bigger your dot is going to be. And I try to get into some of these little spaces where the flowers aren't touching. And I just randomly dot, dot, dot all the way around. And sometimes I go out, you know, out here into a little bit further into the um, into the image. It's not any, um, I don't have any rhyme or reason. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit up here for you. So I've got started my dots and I just, and I try to be quick. because as soon as the pen touches the paper it makes a little dot and so I try not to leave it down too far too long on the paper because then the dot gets bigger if the longer it sits there So just like that, and then I'm going to switch to my next C color, which is C00, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to start making some dots all the way around. Oops. And a lot of these dots are, because I'm doing it on the video, are bigger than I would normally make them. It's just they're, the table's kind of wiggly. so. In order to not wiggle so much, I evidently press down a little bit harder than I normally would when I'm doing the little dots. But I'm just working my way around. Get in between the flower petals. Down here, close to his body. And I, you know, occasionally put some out here in the little area out here. And then I go in with any of my next colors, which I'm going to do B000 next. And again, no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to dot them on. And I get some up close, and I get some out here in the outside. But I'm just doing a very quick dabbing up and down motion with my wrist. some of the dots touch other dots. That's okay. The whole idea is for it to be a random background color. It's supposed to be fun. Something different. 
And I chose to do that one on this one because his um, the flowers, they have a lot of space in between them and I wanted to take up a little bit of that space in there. And this one is R000. And again, just randomly put them in there. Make some go out here to the outside too. Some up close. And some touching other dots. But by putting the blue and the red in there, you are adding some colors that you already have in your image. So it kind of picks up and helps um, add some co whoops, <laughs> add some color um, on there. Hey, look at this big dot. See, that's a lot bigger than I normally would do, but it's okay. It looks cute on there. But I just randomly go along and put all the dots and decide kind of the shape of the image as to how far out I'm going to put them on there. So they're out there about, I mean here's the flowers and these go out to here on this image. And they just float all the way around the outside. And you could add more or less, you could even add darker colors in there, it's totally up to you. But this is how I do my dotty background when I'm doing an image. So thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.